How do you prep diamond plate with a satin airways buff? We're going to cover that right now. So diamond plates, you've got a diamond here, a diamond here. They're all going in opposite directions. Best thing to do with a satin airways buff is just to go diagonally up and down around the first set of diamonds and then we're going to switch and we're going to go this way. That's our first direction. Now, instead of going diagonal the opposite direction, I'm going to switch and I'm only going to I'm going to go with the opposite diamonds, but I'm only going to go up and down at about a 75 degree angle. Now my diamond plate is prepped and this should be ready for us to start cut and color process. I've got my diamond plate prepped now using the satin airways buff. So now I'm going to come back and I'm going to pretty much do the same process, but I'm going to use the pink stitch buff and the Q36. I'm going to start at a 75 degree right facing angle, diagonal, going up and down. And then I'm going to switch to a 75 degree left angle and I'm going to go right across the part all the way up. This should shine it up pretty good. Now I've got my cut done, I'm going to come back over with some Renegade Dissolver, wipe off the rest of this residue, which is just the binders that's left over from the compound. All the abrasive is gone. We've buffed that into the metal, we've buffed it off. So you don't have to worry about that. But it's helpful to get some of this grease off before you start your color pass. So I've got my cut done with the Q36 and the pink stitch buff, wiped it down with the dissolver. Now I'm ready to color using my white Airways UBM and the purple bar. All right, so I've got my satin buff done, got my cut done, got my color done. Now I'm gonna wipe it down with the Show Shine polish to kind of seal it up, clean it up, and get this box looking good. 